Hello, members of the Pride, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Porsche. Hello, scraps a doodle. How is the big puppy? Uh, where is there? Yep, there we go. Bacon fish rolls. Yes, you like that, don't you? And let's do a morning petting, because you are a big sweetie. And let's do the hugging, because you're a good boy. You are, you're a big sweetie. <laughs> All right, and then, <clears throat> hello, Pinky. I didn't mean to wake you up, Kitty. I, I know you just fell asleep, but I just thought you might appreciate this dry blade fish. And I thought maybe you might want to, you know, do a little pet owner time. You know, I like I know how you, you, you like playing like that and how you like to be snu snuggled with first thing in the morning, so Alright, well you 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 guys have a great day. Uh I have some things to do. Today's kind of a big day. Uh <clears throat> so, uh today uh, we're going to be. Well, we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the big step here. Uh, we're we're going to. Where's my fertilizer? There it is. Uh, we're going to. Uh, we're 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 going to take the step, and we're we're going to see if perhaps we will be fortunate enough to date. Everyone's first choice in 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 mates for for old lion here, and we're gonna see if maybe we can make uh, make ginger into a girl into our girlfriend today. From Albert, <clears throat> hey lion, how are you doing after that adventure in the old mine shaft? Must have been fun, huh? Anyway, I've got a new job for you. You see, we're in need of a water tower and charge station for a vehicle pit stop. Do you think you could build one for me and install it? I've in, uh, attached the diagrams in the mail. If you're busy, I can just ask Higgins. P.S. I've also got a bunch of other commissions from South Block lined up. I'll be posting these on the Commerce Board from tomorrow. We're not ready. We're not ready. Oh dear. We're not ready. We're very not ready. Okay. Uh. Ack? Yeah, come on over here, Ack. Um. So. Water tower and charge station. Let's go ahead and just put that up there. Water tower and charge station. That's kind of a, and I'm I'm pretty sure I can I can do those without too much difficulty. You know what, um, Django? Hi. Or, well, hello, Albert. Ginger, Gust will get in my way. What's his deal? Dude, step off, bro. Okay. I mean. I mean, you, I realize you don't recognize this, but man, you're 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 blocking, oh. man. You're blocking. I can see you have a lot of potential. Keep up the hard work, and you'll go far. <laughs> All right, and um, here you're gonna give me an invite. What did what is it? Django liked again. Uh, Django liked bronzor pots of hysteria. That's right. He likes the pots of hysteria and paper roses. Uh, but you know what? Right there. Oh. Oh. Now this is something special, my friend. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Oops, I meant to give you the paper roses, not the real roses, but, you know, that works. Um, sure, let's go out on a play date. Let's, let's go Peach Plaza at 10 o'clock. You know, we can do that. I'm okay with this. We can, we can hang out together. All right, let's go get a commission. Sans... I didn't get one yesterday. Or did I? Did I? Oh, I've got the skill points. That's right, I forgot. Um, let's throw another point in there. Um, you know, this is this is going to start becoming a thing. 
uh, I guess for now we'll go ahead and just do this. And yeah, we're we're okay with this. Excuse me, Higgins. Uh, aluminum, obviously we can't. Uh, aluminum wires, I I actually might. Waterproof cloth, maybe. And arm stretchers, ooh. Uh, this one's worth more, and it's better reputation. We'll go with that one. Uh, hello, Antoine. Hi. Uh, it's the season of sadness again. Old people say beautiful people live a hard life. <laughs> I'll just have to live longer. Dude, don't ever change, man. <laughs> have a small satchel. Thank you so much. I really like it. No problem, brother. <laughs> Don't ever change, Antoine. Uh, you're a kick. All right. Um, so let's take a look at our map. Is there any surprise? No, there are no surprise missions or anything like that, other than, of course, going out to uh, the, the Ingalls Mine over here. We still need to do that. Um, but the vehicle pit stop, that is actually a very, a very good question as to whether or not that's something we can even do. Um, how many waterproof cloths do I have? Uh, let's see, that's under prepared materials, right? That's cloth. Waterproof cloth. Okay, well, I mean, it uses up... It uses up more of our waterproof cloth than I'm strictly comfortable with, but... I mean, I guess that's not a, a, a horrible thing. Hey! Hey! I can do an upgrade on you! Alright, so there first of all... There used to be so many AIs walking around. It's kind of lonely to be the only one here now. What happened? Dude, time went on. Sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do about, the pro you know. When it, when it comes to the, the progression of time, all we humans can do is write it out. Um, I don't have anything on me to give to you. Um, actually, hold on. Before I give you something... All right, so let's go through. We've got, okay, we have several things to be able to activate with him, which is cool. We can feed animals, apply fertilizer. Boy, that's helpful. Uh, automated planting. Uh, cooking recipe three, four, five, and six. Boy, oh, learning the different fillets and such, king salmon fillets and such. All right, so there's, wow, meteorological data chip, production, oh, all the data chips, uh, the, the one, the data chip one for the different things, uh, number one, custom, okay, so I've done, I've, I've already gotten quite a few of these, so I just need to find number one and number two, I need to find refuel, um, and then... Agriculture, husbandry, and production number one. Okay. Now, question. Can I give you... I cannot. I was going to say, can I give you the other chips? But no, I cannot. So... Uh, actually, 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 yeah, actually. Ooh, I can sell the rest of these. Ooh, that'll give me some good money. Because I've given him everything I can, so all these are now just money, honey. <laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and sort everything into their respective houses. So that's just money. And a good chunk of money, too. Let's, uh, so that's good. Um, we need to get an ack item. Let's get you an ack item. And let's give you an engine. Oh, no. Put that back. I want... Want, oh my goodness gracious. Want, why can I not? There we go. It's because I was hitting the wrong button. Hey! Hey! And...
engine. There you are. There you go. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. And farming. Okay. I'm okay, so add seeds. Hmm. How is this working? Um, okay, seeds. Let's just boom, 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 boom. Let's just do that and then come over here. Planting. Add seeds. By order, plant this in the order listed. Randomly pick any seed. Replant the same seeds as last time after harvest. Okay. Um. I guess for now, just have them randomly pick seeds. I, I'm I don't know um, I don't know precisely how that works I guess what we'll, we'll, we'll figure we'll figure it out uh, all right so looks like I'm gonna have to break this down because there's no I I, I still don't have the yeah, I still don't have the ability to make the second jumbo tire. I, I could have sworn I was able to make those now. In fact, I could have sworn I already have several of those. Do I not have the composite boards? I do not. I could have sworn I was... I, I made... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, composite wooden board, not advanced composite wooden boards. Oh, I'm on... Okay, I'm, I'm up to speed. I'm up to speed. Alright, let's run through these real quick and restock and refuel everything. Um, and we'll get uh, up to snuff on this. Alright, so the next question... Oh, I'm out of copper ore. Of course I am. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to do too. Um, fortunately, I think at this point we can probably hold off on copper and not worry too much about it. Of course, I say that now, and then, like, later, that's going to become, like, a nightmarish mess, but, you know, hey, uh, we're, that's right, we're letting the iron bars work their way out. Alright, and the glass, we're going to head, yeah, we're just letting the glass work its way out. Pigments are done, and, um... Let's go ahead and make the fertilizer. Never hurts to have more fertilizer. <coughs> Quality leather, can, can you hurry along, please? I don't know what's, what's taking you so long here. Um... But, but hurrying along would be nice. All right, so that is all up to date. Let's get this sorted into their respective houses. Boom. And that's all fine and dandy. Next question. 
We're just going to have to retrieve this. We'll have to do it another time. Because we have a charge station and a water tower to do. So, water tower. Copper plate. Aluminum plate. And aluminum. Please tell me that those don't have any time period on them. We've got these growing, so that's fine. No time period. And that's fine. Okay. All right. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and just put it in here and sort those into their respective houses and old world parts. Put that in there. Put that in there. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. And I think that will do for now. Hello. Goodbye. Russo desires something. I was trying to figure out who the heck was uh, uh, wanted something. Uh, all right, so... I don't know why all of a sudden I'm drawing a blank here. Didn't I... Didn't I grab out the waterproof cloth? I could have sworn I grabbed out the waterproof cloth. Oh, I sorted it back into their houses. I forgot. I sorted everything back into their respective houses. Oh! No, I didn't. I never took it out of their houses to begin with. <laughs> okay. I'm doing fine. I'm not a nervous wreck because I'm going to be asking Ginger to, uh, uh, Ginger, out on our first official date. Not at all. It's not a nerve-wracking thing whatsoever, and I'm not nervous about Hello. it. I'm not nervous. Shut up. You No, you shut up. N no, you sh... Okay, I'll shut up. Jeez. Look, I, I admit it, okay? I'm a nervous wreck. I did... I, I just, I'm not very good when it comes to, to, to the social things, okay? I, I get nervous, and I'm, I'm, I'm not so good with this kind of thing. And, and I know that it's, it's something I definitely want to do. I just, <sighs> okay. All right, no, we, we, we've got this. We, we've got this. We, we've got this. We've got this. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, hi, <clears throat> hi, Ginger. Uh, um, hey. Yes, it, it's it's lovely to see you today. Uh, yesterday's date was great, huh? The hey, that new haunted house, <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Um. So. Uh, um. Yeah. So, uh, Ginger, um, uh, first, how, how was your day? Uncle Russo has been a great help for my family. Without him, my dad probably wouldn't have time to be the mayor. Yeah, uh, it, it's a it's a serious thing. Um, hey, would you like to take a picture together? Um, I, I uh, oh yeah, we we we've kind of done these these pictures, haven't we? Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Ginger, let me just let, let let me just put it on the table here. Uh, the fact that it, the matter is, I'm not very good when it comes to asking people out on a date, and uh, I I kind of get anxious and I get nervous and well, I kind of end up making a fool of myself. But the fact of the matter is that I like you. I I think you're a really great lady, and I I would really like to be able to you know go spend some time together and maybe. Maybe take our relationships in the next level if if you're all right with that. So I just want to give this 
this heart knot to you and maybe it'll maybe it'll say the words that I can't I'm glad you like me and you're a very nice person, but I think it's better if we stay f as friends for now. I hope you can understand. Yeah, um, totally, I, I, I get it. Hey, Gust. Well, um, hi, hi, Nora. And Fall is the most beautiful season. I like golden landscape. Yeah, golden landscape. I think you mean golden landscapes. Um, you know, with an S there. That's that's probably what you meant. Uh, but in any case, here's a. You are very nice. Yes, thank, thank you. you. You have a great day. Um, hey! Hi, Sonia. Watching what trends are in each year is kind of like a hobby for me. Oh my god, you don't say. That's like totally amazing. Here, have this yellow sapphire wow. necklace. This is like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. You oh my god! So well. You know, I I try to stay up on the recent trends, and I know that's totally a thing you like. Django! Can you, can you teach me, um, how about something with salt? Bamboo papaya with egg on top? That's... That's perfect, brother. Th thank you for teaching me something new. Uh, hey, Albert. A A Albert, I, I, I kind of think maybe you and I, n n never mind. I, I, I'll, I'll talk to you later, brother. <sighs> um. So yeah. Uh. Whoa. Hello. Let's move. So, I'm thinking uh, that maybe the rest of the day we spend fishing. Um, and if we're going to do that, then then we need to uh, we need to get some bait and 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 and, and get the bait. Um, uh, how about um, how about two hundred? Yeah, that works. Um, do I have any other need for anything? Uh, I, I, I don't think so. Um, I, I, I think we're okay. Hey, Sophie. Emily loves my hug. Home cooking, yeah. Emily's a, is a great gal. Have a bucket. Thank you so you're, you're welcome. As long as we're over here, uh, let's, hey. let's give a bucket to McDonald's. Oh, you want my signature? I'll be f famous one day selling burgers. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing, man. Thank you. Never expect. Yeah, yeah. You have a great day. Um. So. Uh, we we need to to raise uh to make some money today, so maybe we'll go out to this fishing spot over here. And uh, we'll uh, we'll go fishing for a while and and make some money because you know it's we we need to get the next level of things. Hi, oh. Chiwa. There are plenty of rules for fishing. Each type of fish will swim in its own preferred area. 
and you'll need different bait to attract them. Things like that. Oh, and of course, the fishing rod is also very important. Any rod can hook a fish, but only a good rod can bring it in. That's that's true enough, which is why I have my master my master reel. Um, so Chiwa, you, you really you, you you really like the uh, the the emperor f wise fish. I've already given you a classic fish, so. Thank you so much. I really like it. That just got us uh, a lot of reputation with a lot of uh, a lot of guys there, which is really cool. That's yeah, really cool. I, I guess maybe while we're out here, we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, stop by the, the the Dana's mine over here, the Ingles mine. Hello, move! Oh my God! Thank you. Thing was being a little bit frustrating there and I want to say we got to go all the way down this way okay so I guess now that we're here it's disappeared I guess it, yeah I guess it was just trying to say that it's over here it's not like a, 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 a event or something like that okay yeah, we'll we'll just spend the rest of the time fishing today. Uh, make make some make some money. Oops. So uh, we have our master fishing rod now. That's nice. It'll be able to bring in these fish a lot better. Here, you, you stay there, tinfoil. Good old tinfoil. Tinfoil's my, my best buddy. He, he never lets me down. Gladiator! Wow! First fish. That helps a lot. That makes me feel pretty good. Be able to pull in a lot of golden salmon, which will be good for the the golden uh, the golden radish soup later. And of course, this is the best place to make money and be able to get the wise fish uh, for for Pinky and and for Chiwa. So that's nice. And you know, these gladiator fish are good for selling. That's nice. You know, it's not easy when you get turned down by someone. When you like someone and in your mind, you know, you, you've kind of already accepted them as someone that you really care about and someone that you really want to want to get to know better and you want to spend more time with. It becomes difficult when it turns out that maybe they don't really feel the same way about you. And it can be tough. And a lot of people, well, actually pretty much everybody, feels, well, like garbage when they get turned down. Sometimes all you need in that time, you know, when, that, when those times happen is just time. You need time to be able to breathe and take stock and try to determine... Maybe it was, if it was just the wrong time. Maybe she just didn't feel that same way about you. Maybe you need to try harder. Maybe you just need to give her space. It's hard to say. But the real question you have to ask yourself is, 
do you want to go ahead and move on and see if maybe someone else is the right person for you? Or do you want to keep trying? And for each one of us, that answer has got to be different. Because no one else can walk in your shoes except you. You're the only person who knows whether or not that person is the right person for you. And when it comes to those kind of instances where you put your heart on the line and they told you no. Oh, look at that, another kingfish. Uh, you, you put your heart on the line, but they told you no. <clears throat> The best thing you can do in those circumstances is pick up your feet and drive on and try again later on. And in the meantime, keep being their friend. Keep trying to show them that you're a worthwhile person, that you are as exceptional to them as they are to you. They just need time to be able to come to that conclusion themselves. And maybe they'll never come to that conclusion. That's a possibility. It could be that Ginger simply will never say, uh, say yes to me. And we have to accept that possibility. Because even with all, uh, no matter how, how strongly you may feel about a person, it's possible that they just don't feel the same way back. And in that case, all you can do is just be their friend. Do the best you can and try to be involved with their life as much as they're willing to let you. And if they even come to the point where they don't even want you in their life uh, in their life at all then accepting that is a part of it too it's never easy being rejected it stinks in fact being rejected by someone you care about is probably one of the most hurtful things that can happen to a person but being able to move on from it is also one of the strongest things that a person can do. And it takes a real person of integrity, a person of character, to be able to move on and recognize that maybe this time it just doesn't work. Try it again at a later time, maybe, if you feel that the opportunity is there, but it's just not, the time isn't right. Or accept the fact that it's not going to happen and move on with your life and move on with something else. Whichever it happens to be for you, or in this case, whichever one it happens to be for Lion. Either way, these kind of circumstances, even though they hurt and they wound you at the time, and there's nothing wrong with feeling sad and feeling upset about what happened, it's always a growing experience. It's always a, a time where you yourself must choose to either be crushed by the experience or to grow from it. And I hope you, all of you who aspire to be squeaking lions of the world, I hope you'll grow from this because that's what squeaking lions do. Squeaking lions recognize that not everything works out the way we want it. But there's nothing wrong with being persistent. Uh, to a point, of course. There's nothing wrong with picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and moving on, if that's the choice you feel is right. And most of all, it's important that you come to, uh, to the understanding that no matter what, your life will go on. Your life will move forward, and maybe you'll end up with that person. Maybe you'll find someone even better. It's hard to say. 
but to be able to recognize that and have the strength to accept it is a growing experience and it's something each one of us will have to do throughout our lives. And I hope maybe that's been helpful to somebody out there who maybe just went through this yourself. You know who you are. And if, in fact, this isn't helpful, well, at least you can... At least you can say that somebody cared enough to try. And it looks like tomorrow we have the land run. So that'll be a, co a cool thing to watch in the next episode. And uh, I realized this episode got a little heavy, guys. Um, and things kind of didn't work out quite the way we expected with Ginger. And I got a little, a little deep and philosophical on you. And I hope I didn't bring you down too much. In fact, I hope that perhaps... I've given you guys some helpful advice when it comes to disappointing situations like that where you've put your heart on the line and it just turned out someone squashed it. Maybe maybe gently, maybe harshly, but or or maybe just inadvertently and they had no idea they had done it. But hopefully my personal experience may have and, and maybe just my own opinion may help you uh through your particular ordeal in your life um and if it doesn't i'm sorry um i'm i'm no guru i'm just a guy who's been there and done that and this seemed like a good opportunity to be able to help someone who needed it and hopefully it did and hopefully it helped you too but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this particular episode, no matter how maudlin it might have been. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below. You guys are just the best people on the planet. Why? Because you watch my show and you're supporting me, and as far as I'm concerned, you're the best people on the planet. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars. But it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on. Truly. Squeak on. <laughs>